Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Start and Finish. Last time I was on camera I was saying that I was going to start and finish Uncharted 3 and I've done so. Um, it's taken longer than what most people would actually take on the game simply because I broke it up into spaces. So the thing is, everyone's been telling me this is a very short game. Uh, most people complete it within about 7 or 8 hours. Um, with that I thought, well it can, I, when I play games I normally sit down for at least about 4 hours stints on good games. So I thought that's going to be a Saturday and Sunday job and the game's done. And I didn't want that so I made sure I just put an hour here and there every so often. Just try to break it up so I actually felt like this game was longer than what it actually is. And it did work for me. It, I think it took me about 2 weeks to complete. Overall it only took about 7 or 8 hours. I think it was 8 hours I put into it in the end. Um, but it did, it did make it feel like a, a bigger game than somebody who just sat there and clocked it in one go. Now, a lot of people have said that Uncharted 3 is Uncharted 2, just a different story. Now, I can completely agree with that, because the only thing that's been added, really, is a bit of a combat change. Now, what they've added to the combat, I think, is absolutely awesome. Um, when you actually come down to fighting, it's all about quick time events to actually uh, countering somebody to hit you and then melee them back and stuff like that. And uh, it's, it's good. It's not absolutely amazing, but it's definitely a nice feature to add instead of just running and gunning and hitting them. So that's awesome, but they actually really build on top of it when you're actually in close quarters. So for instance, when you actually first start playing this game, you have your first fight in a bar. Now that is one of the best fight scenes I've actually ever played on the game because one, these games are actually look stunning in the first place. And two, the actual the amount of time they actually spend on uh, the animation of the characters is amazing. So when you're actually fighting in this bar, they'll be grabbing glasses, smashing them, trying to pop them on each other's head. They'll do everything to the smallest detail and it's amazing to just watch these characters fight. The thing that shocked me about this is when I actually thought the graphics was really good is not when it's actually like in a bar and there's so much detail around. It's when there was no detail. So when you was actually in the desert, there's nothing really to look at and therefore you're probably expected to just be playing graphics. But then it makes you actually look in detail of what they've actually done. And as you're walking across the sand, you can actually see your footprint go in the sand and then sand trickle down the banks. And it just made me think that everything they could possibly do to just make this game look realistic, they've absolutely done. Now don't get me wrong, obviously games aren't about graphics, but if they was, this would be the best game in the world. So when it comes down to the story, the story is good. It's a normal kind of uh, Uncharted story. It's over the top, you'll always escape with an inch of your life. The only thing I actually have a problem with this is normally with the other two Uncharted's, you obviously have an objective, you want to get something or stop something. And uh, when you get to the end where you have a boss is, as you win, um, you normally have to do something majorly big and then escape again. And the escaping is normally like when you're entering, it's just fighting guys to get to this main objective. Now, at the end of number three, it didn't feel like there was no major objective. I knew what I had to do, I had to stop something. So all the way I was fighting guys to get there and as I got there, it kind of did a cutscene and did the stopping for me and then I had to escape and fight guys again. So it just felt like all the time I was attacking somebody to then leave and attack somebody. So I can't complain because the actual story, the levels, going through it all is very, very enjoyable. It's just a shame that when you get to the end, you don't feel like you've accomplished something. You just feel like you've just been playing the same game at the same level all the way through. But that aside, the characters are amazing, graphics are amazing, story is just over the top and awesome, and I think it's definitely worth playing. It's not worth the actual retail price, because like I said, you'll complete this within seven hours, so when it came out at £40, it's definitely not worth that. But if you see it around £15 to £20, it's definitely worth picking up and playing for it. So, with that, done and dusted now. I've uh, picked something slightly different <laughs> for the next game that I want to actually complete. Now, this is something I've said I would complete on camera before. Uh, it kind of got pushed into the Nintendo stockpile. I was like, I'll do that another day. And I never was going to actually get around to completing this. But I've now been challenged. And that is a boy and his blob for the Wii. Now, this game... When I first seen it was coming out, I looked at it and thought, graphically it looks really nice and obviously it's just very colourful and it just looks like a joy to play. And I played with it for, what, 10-15 minutes and then kind of left it because it didn't pull me and it didn't have any reason to keep playing. I just wanted to look at it because I knew at the end of the day, Joe's going to get money out of this game. And Joe played it all the way to the end and she really enjoyed it and right at the end, the boss was difficult and she gave up. And I've been taking the mick out of her ever since. And I've been speaking to Holly, Dog in My Lens, and she said that she also played this game all the way to the end and then stopped because the boss was too hard. Now, I was taking the mick out of them, saying that if you look down there, it's for seven and up. And I was saying if a seven-year-old should be 
ideally playing this game. I don't think their boss is going to be that difficult. Now, I'm probably going to have to eat my words after saying that, but they've challenged me to go all the way through the game and finish the last boss. So, so far, I've probably put two hours into it. I think I've done the first world out of three worlds, but obviously it's getting more difficult now. And then, um, obviously, I'm not going to go into if I like it or not, because that's for the next episode. So, yes, I've been challenged to play this, and fingers crossed I will beat the girls and prove that I am a better player than both of them put together. So, <laughs> that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Like I say, Uncharted, definitely worth buying, but wait for that price to drop. Cheers, guys. Bye.